Get in, nerds. We are playing Victoria 3. I just realized something fun, which is that we finally have the ability to get Uluru into our uh, customs union. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Excellent. And theoretically, we can't we can't turn them into a uh, protector right now because we have a defensive pact. But I would love to turn them into a into a protector. Same as Scotland, really. They still don't want to be though. I think a middle term goal is going to be to liberate Ireland. I would love Ireland to be independent. Dominican Uprising. Interesting. So right now we're continuing to proceed with the electrification plan. Um, we're building up a bunch of motor industries all over the country, and then we're doing an ambitious uh, construction plan in Equatoria. Um, I don't think it's necessarily a rush to grab all these small countries over here. Um, is France still in its war with the United States? It is. Are they... They don't seem to be... They, they've spent a lot of money, but... Are they really fighting? Where are they fighting? Oh, for Seattle. The battle for Seattle. Oh, interesting. They've got... This must be a naval invasion. Yeah, that's a naval invasion there, is what that is. Okay, so they don't have a major front. So I can basically continue to... Uh, I can't... What I can't do is discount the French just yet. Which is going to be a take job. 16.6. .6. I think that's something we'll knock out. Ethiopia still hasn't done it themselves. Um... And there, there, that's, Gojam is something we need to finish out so that we can make Ethiopia uh, a more complete country. Um, we've still got electricity shortages in a bunch of zones. Adana made De Bruja Montenegro. Um, Adana... De Bruja, Montenegro, and then Scopia, Cars, Oman, and the Trucial Coast. Scopia, Cars, Oman. Well, here's the Trucial Coast, and here's Oman. I think this is actually a labor issue, but we'll see. Uh, we got 9th Turkish Army. Oh, this doesn't... This, this army doesn't need to exist. Old age pensions, the centers break ranks. To outside observers, the trade unions may appear firmly committed to the idea of old age pensions, but behind this facade of unity, discord has long festered. Now a clique of dissenters have finally had enough and have officially broken with their fellow members over the issue of the reform. For how long have we stood together? How many times have we lent a willing hand your way? Yet our own concerns are left unanswered, our own desires left unmet. If we shall not be heard here, we shall be so elsewhere. Splitters may the devil take them, loosen the purse strings so we can lure some of them back, or offer them custodianship over a new draft. I'm going to do splitters may the devil take them. I don't... I'm not hugely invested in the success of the trade unions or of... Uh, as at the moment, Sindh is loyal. Can we reduce their autonomy? They will accept. Very well. And we're still at 21.9 infamy. And they're a nice Turkish red now. Peru, Bolivia is improving relations. Well, I'm happy to be having good relations with you, Peru, Bolivia. What about you, Brazil? You want to have good relations? I don't necessarily need to keep improving relations with Germany. Um, we're doing it. we're good to go now. We're not in danger of losing our uh, our trade agreement, so I'm gonna back off on that. 
Actually, I'll back off on the one with China as well. That's for later. I want to get some more influence. Who can I rival? Oop. You're domineering, huh? I'm going to declare a rivalry on the French Commune. I think the French Commune is already rivaling us. Huh. No, they weren't necessarily. That's great. Alright, so that'll give me plenty more influence to play around with. Um, what do I have? Okay, a Greek succession. Secession. So what place is this going to take? Macedonia, Thessaly, Western, Thrace. Oh, not too happy about that. Thessaly, Macedonia, Western, Thrace. Gonna, uh, gonna have to... Gonna have to genuinely deal with that. Pretty, uh, pretty salty. Well, that's okay. It'll be fine. I give these Europeans electric lighting in for what? For them to revolt? Ridiculous. Maasai mass immigration. People from East Africa, Protestants from East Africa, interested. This place has pretty bad turmoil, but um, we got a lot of, uh, hopefully giving them better jobs will help that out at least a little bit. Greek relations with us are okay. Montenegro is our puppet, technically, right? Because we could annex them, and that would be fine. Actually, are we able to do that while we're... 39% uh, chance of accepting, let's not risk that. I don't think anyone's going to fight over it, but while we're in a, in a, succession, in a succession with the Greeks, uh, with our Greek populations, I don't want to necessarily create a problem over it. And there's old age pensions. Brilliant. Um... And there's antibiotics. Perfect. So that actually can get us more investment in the health system. Uh, well, we're still a little bit low. We'll deal with that in a second, though. Let's go ahead and grab macroeconomics. That'll get us an extra company. Um, and then I think we'll knock out the last of the military techs. We'll see what goes up from there. All right. Are they still trying to rebel? I guess they I guess they are. It's just going a little slow. Really, really slow, actually. Frankly, if I drop back some... Oh my goodness. What on earth? There's a communist rebellion in the British Republic. And the French are helping. Hmm. Britain, what would you be willing to provide me? Uh, the Mosquito Kingdom? I'm tempted. Obligations? Not useful to me. No states you'd be willing to transfer. Ah, oh, that's a shame. We might have a communist Great Britain again for a bit. On the other hand, it would be fun. Unfortunately, they can't give me war goals against the French, because the French are not the primary targets in this war. Now, usually... Ooh, escalation is halted. I'm watching this with keen interest. I suspect that the 
reactionary powers in Europe will be intervening eventually. Wow, the United Solomon Archduchy has just a massive, massive army. Are they fully mobilized right now? Is that what's going on? What's their national debt look like? None. Okay, I don't think they are. I might sit this one out. Okay, interesting. So that so they're at peace again. Can I see? No. This Greek secession is still taking its sweet time. So how has this impacted my labor market? It's still pretty okay. And for welfare payments, we're at 7.13k. I think I can afford to increase this. 788. I might not have the bureaucracy for it, but I can get the bureaucracy for it by changing up production methods in my uh, in my government buildings. So let's go ahead and do that. And then. We'll grab some government admin. Where have we got a good stack of government admin? Konya. There we go. And there's elevators. Wonderful. Uh, I'm going to change up Trabzon as well. It's also going to make our electrics industries a little bit more productive. And we'll see. We'll see how this goes. And that gets us plenty of bureaucracy to play with. Um, in fact, I think it's enough to put healthcare all the way up to five. And perhaps in time, increasing workplace safety as well. Psychoanalysis is spreading, so that is wonderful. So building up some power plants here. Um, but I think we got the capacity to finally electrify the whole empire. I guess there are a few zones we don't actually have electric power plants in at all for now. Oh my goodness, we're at the bottom of our construction queue. Alright, Greek Secession, get it out of your system. I know you're not going to be happy about it, but we're, we're going to have to fight, so let's fight. so interesting to me that heavy tanks are in artillery. I understand why, actually no, it makes kind of perfect sense from a systems perspective, just because artillery is where you get most of your offense in this game. Come on, let's go, let's go. Wow, I really did not think this was going to take this long. You know, usually when a secession breaks off, it's, uh, it's a tiny, tiny uh, area. So, Greek Uprising, you have 30 battalions. Well, that's not... I'm not actually... I don't need to be worried about that at all. Just grab our two smaller armies and put them in place. Um, that said... Okay, so now at this point, I know that all of my states... Virtually all of my states have a power plant in them. So let's get... So who doesn't have electric streetlights right now? Just scrolling down until I don't see the electric streetlights button. Crete! Anywhere else? Nope, just Crete. Alright, well that was dumb of me. I forgot about my islands. Probably don't need two levels of power plants here, do I? Um, also, some of my power plants are subsidized. How many of them? Which ones? Well, probably just the ones I originally built. That's fine. So now that we've got power all throughout the Empire, 
Uh, coal fire plants is probably not in the cards. How's coal in the market overall? It's actually not too bad. The United Sovereign Archduchy is going after Mexico. Mexico wants our help to conquer Travancore down here. I don't really want to fight the United Sovereign Archduchy though, so... Infamy's pretty good. No thanks, Mexico. I don't... Well, there will be something to do while we wait for her <laughs> infamy to take down. You know, so they're trying to get all their usual suspects in terms of states, which I don't necessarily want them to do because they are a big, angry uh, power already. They're an, they're an oligarchic monarchy. They have banned slavery. I think France did successfully make them ban slavery. James Monell, I feel like, is, well, I mean, it's an autocratic monarchy. Um, conquer Travancore. Just to remind me. Well, that's down here. Hmm. That's an interesting option. You know, I've got plenty of I've got plenty of money. I got a lot of infamy I need to work off. Let's do it. I will help. All right, so I'll put my two largest armies on the front here. Keep our two midland armies at home, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, I think one of these smaller forces, once we're done with the Greek uprising, will end up. Uh, Sending them to uh, to take over tank shortage. Ooh, we got low maximum org and some of these foods. So we got an ambitious positivist convoy raider, a communist uh, traditionalist commander, and a positivist traditionalist commander. So we got a convoy raider. Um, where else? Sixth Turkish Army and Romeli Order. So, Sixth Turkish Army has low org because of what? Oh, too much, too much artillery and cavalry. Okay, that's unfortunate. Let's build up just a barrel full of uh, mechanized infantry into this army. So that'll get built at a decent pace. And then... So that's the 6th army dealt with, and the Romeli Ordosu is also overshot on... Uh, on... Oh, that's curious. I wonder if I made a mistake with that. Um, we'll get those built up as well. And put some more barracks in... Iran. And those should get built in fairly solid, fairly good order. Good order. Ugh, brain. Brain, 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 brain. Brazil is damaging relations. Well, Brazil, why would you damage relations with me? And Sweden. Sweden, what, what is wrong with you? First of all, Sweden, you're almost completely occupied by Norway right now. I don't know why you're trying to involve yourself in this situation. Um, it does appear as though the communists are winning in uh, the British Republic, but they're losing in Ireland, so we'll see how that goes. Um, situation with the Greeks is popping off. So I think this small army we're going to use to invade Travancore when the time comes for us to take what we want to take from the United States. So, our largest armies have arrived in Texas, been placed on the front. Uh, United Sovereign Archduchy is uncertain at this point. 
Mexico is placing their armies there as well. With our troops, we have a very solid uh, overage in terms of the total force comparison, I think. Or we're going to in a second. Uh, these guys are taking their sweet time kind of getting there. Um, does America have any territories here? It does have Liberia. Let's see how that goes. There's the art silk tech. Not going to help us much at all right now, but uh, maybe at some point in the future. We do technically have a little bit of a rough two hours. All right, we are basically uh, unopposed over here in Thessaly. So we should be able to take that zone fairly quickly. That state fairly quickly. There's the war with America. And now both of these armies are fighting on the front in Western Thrace, so that should be fine as well. Force comparison here in America seems very, very good. Uh, I'm going to quickly grab the 8th Turkish Army and get them invading Travancore. They're working. Uh, naval invasion in Eastern Thrace, eh? Uh, I'm going to take the Hasa Ordesu and move them to... Oh, I didn't realize they weren't in the... Uh... The right HQ for that. Um... Put my army over here, my navy over here. Sort of shocked they were able to win this battle, but we'll see. Um, let's go ahead and grab. Let's get started with this. The Turkish army is not a strong uh, army, so I'm not uh, super concerned about that. This is a battle we're for sure winning at this stage. So I'm feeling pretty good about that overall. And here's the American fleet come to fight me. So we'll see how that goes. Feeling pretty confident in my ability to defend here right now. And I am winning on this front. Although again, not as fast as I would be hoping given that I've got all of this, this mobility. Um, are my armies still having reduced maximum org? They do not. All right, so I believe that was me taking Eastern Thrace, and indeed it was. Perfect. So, 8th Turkish Army can just go ahead and go to America. Um, front here is... that's not a great force comparison, but America must be uh, pulling up its entire reserve at this point, so feeling... I'm still feeling pretty okay about that. Um, let's take a look at this naval battle. Uh, we are for sure winning over here. Uh, our navy is much stronger than theirs. Scotland wants defensive act. I decline for now. All right. So the sixth Turkish army is now free. We finished uh, crushing the Greek secession. No, oh, thank you, Scotland. Not right now. Uh, Sixth Turkish Army needs another leader. That you're a corporatist. I think that's 
enough. Oh, also I should grab our other fleet here and put them in the Mediterranean so that I can stop uh, America sinking our convoys. Uh, they're really in the Straits of Gibraltar is where they're doing where they're doing the most work here. Oh, I want the naval battle. There we go. Yes, we are for sure winning there. Uh, Greek situation is all but sorted out, and there it goes. Glad they were able to get that out of their system. Third Turkish fleet. Oh. That's what happened. We had some navies turn into different navies. Devout scandal. It has been revealed that Musa Kara Osmanoglu of the Sunni Ulema has been having a secret affair with a member of the clergy. His resignation is being demanded. Now, the fact that this sneaky bastard thought he could get away with such gross misuse of his power shows everything wrong with the leadership of the Sunni Ulema. The people must know of his depravity. I'm going to do this. Them being unpopular is not a problem for me. Um, the other one is practical opposition. Viewing the Communist Party as a major threat to the Turkish nation, the Fascist Party has organized supporters of the Fascist Party to organize into groups and attack suspected communists in the streets. This is really weird, given that they are forming a government together. Um, this is probably fine for the country. This probably isn't a problem. There are those in our very government who believe that the Communist Party is a party like any other. It is not. This cabal is not truly a political party, but a front for a secret society, admitting within its ranks spies and miners. Aliens, spies, and miners. This attempt to nestle itself within the dark corners of our city must be met with the only good thing, the only thing these animals understand. The force of good Turkish fists. Yeah, okay. Uh, accost the partisans wherever they appear. This makes upper and middle stratum pops more loyal, but uh, makes trade unionist pops more Radical and reduces their momentum. Target the leaders to crush the masses' morale. A bunch of different things could potentially happen with this. Um, it's potential to wound various characters. This is a communist general. Uh, this violence will be the death of democracy. This just makes upper and middle stratum pops more radical but reduces the momentum of the fascist party. I'm going to go with this last one. I don't... We're doing centrism here. We're doing a big centrism. All right, so we need to take a run at the... We repelled the naval invasion. We have to take a run at the... Uh, uh, at the Straits of Gibraltar to try to crush that American fleet. Infertile grounds. Finding both the Turkish public and supposed political allies unreceptive to his ideas. Frustrated, Ralph Bey has decided to retire from the realm of politics, opting instead to spend the rest of his days pending in bitter reflections on what could have been. Um, he was a communist. Uh, I give these bumpkins the truth, and how am I rewarded? With deafening silence. And they call Constantinople a city of ideas, of culture. The only evidence of cultivation I've found in that cesspool of a city came from the fields outside of it. And even then, where they were cared for poorly. Good riddance to you all, I say, sirs. Good riddance to you all. Let him peddle his ideas in peace away from Constantinople. All right, so uh, America is partially occupied. And America doesn't have war support protection at this time. Someone wants Idaho. Well, <laughs> you know what? You get him, Mexico. I'm pleased this punch actually about Idaho. That's a great target. Um, I've got three armies kicking around in uh, in Turkey. So let's put one of them on the front. Uh, I thought German Empire sides with Brazil over Peru, Bolivia. Okay, interesting. So Peru, Bolivia. What is this? This is a unifying with Santa Cruz, Guiviare, Calca, and return Santa Cruz, conquer Amazonas, humiliate Brazil. Rio Grande de Norte Treaty Port, return Panama. Oh, this is wild. Whereas Brazil on the other side wants La Paz, Potosi, and Tyrol. 
Oh, no. Germany wants Tyrol from Austria-Hungary who are involved. So that's really interesting. How's the election looking? It's looking basically the same as the previous elections. Um, we don't actually have a liberal party anymore. The intelligence you folded into the Free Trade Party. That's interesting. Communist rally in Eastern Thrace. A massive rally led by Camille Mulos in support of the Communist Party has been held in Eastern Thrace, drawing supporters from the communists, uh, the communists from all across the region. The rhetoric used at the rally has raised concerns of imminent violence. Mulos, at the head of the crowd, looked to the thin line of blue and black at the end of the street, and then back to, and then back to the vast red-tinged ma mass behind him. He did not hesitate. With the gravitas of one fearlessly claiming the abyss for their own, he took a step forward into the wild melee. A wonderful day for the people of Eastern Thrace. This makes Upper Shard and Pops there more loyal, um, or more radical. It gives 30% momentum to the communists and makes the industrialists salty. We'll show the Reds what violence looks like. Reduces their momentum by 20% and has a 30% chance of wounding Camille Mios and also makes 50% of the industrialists uh, more loyalist. Or the fascist party's partisans will handle them. Uh, will handle these miscreants. Um, that's weird. I don't want to give the fascists momentum. So, but on the other hand, I don't want to necessarily get, well, having them in government hasn't been bad for the country. If they can continue to give these two parties a solid quantity, well, if I could put I don't think I can get the Free Trade Party into power right now. I mean, these are still kind of the mass... The balance of power is still best. If I cut them down, it'll move everyone up, and it'll move them and the fascists closer to equal. Um, let's take a look at the momentum numbers. Yeah... Interesting. Yeah, this is interesting. All these parties are really low on momentum overall. Um, I think maybe... I think I might go with A Wonderful Day for the People of Eastern Thrace and just... let them get their majority. Um, and then we'll see what our options are as we get going forward here. Ooh, flamethrowers. Wonderful. Um, we have been suffering some casualties over here, but we're about to deploy another extremely large army, so I'm feeling pretty confident overall. We have successfully bashed down a couple of American fleets without a problem. And again, we've got a hold of Travancore, so... Uh, they shouldn't be still raiding us. Oh, but we need to secure supply to our own troops. So we do need to bash forward in those areas. Huh. Something going on with Scotland. Okay, what's 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 going on over here with Scotland? Scotland wants to make Denmark a protectorate. That's kind of funny. Scotland offers a war goal of a Greenland treaty port. <laughs> no thank you, Scotland. I don't need that. Alright, so there's the election results. And we've kept our legitimate government. So I think I'm, I'm going to keep the... Uh... Oh, actually, though... I could form a government with the Agrarian Party and not have the fascists in power, and that would be just fine. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Perfect. All right, we still don't have a great force comparison over here. That's, uh, that's a little concerning, actually. I'm uh, a, little, a little unhappy about that overall. Um, let's go ahead and... 
raise our conscripts in the Romelli Ordusu. And the Anadolu Ordusu will do the same. Uh, the Constantine Ordusu will do the same as well. Uh, oh, we need a new leader here. This guy. And a little promotion. Uh, are we short on leadership anywhere else? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so the situation... Well, there's a Navajo uprising happening somewhere. And we got a battle happening in the Caribbean. Which we are winning. Wonderful. I actually didn't realize that uh, naval battles were on the... Uh, on the thing here. That's pretty neat. Your own sovereign archduchy sides with Denmark. Well. I mean, now I feel like I have to side with Scotland. Nah, you know, it'll be fine. one leader on raiding? We don't. So let's raid. Another uh, leader over here, and we'll set him to raiding as well. set my armies to defend for now. Uh, all my armies that are on the front, and we'll, we'll see if we can get them to build up some more manpower. Hasa Ordosu is... Oh, Hasa Ordosu needs a new commander. You seem good. Turkish army needs this one needs promotion and then we'll maximum Oregon Romelli or the Sioux we'll throw some promotions around um, so the goal here is to mostly be on defense for now um, win some battles, get some manpower back, because a lot of these armies are real short on manpower, and I don't want to be putting too many of my other armies into the fray here. So I will raise conscripts for them, just in case I end up needing to throw them in face first into this battle. Hoping with these armies, and we are sinking American convoys now, so I'm hoping that continues to be a state of affairs. We do a lot of damage to the Americans over here, so I'm hoping that we can develop some more manpower in these zones, and then we'll be able to. Revolution in Nile, that doesn't affect me, does it? No, this is just. Fascists in Darfur. And Denmark has done it. 
<laughs> and as soon as Denmark, as soon as uh, Denmark and Scotland got into their little war, um, a revolution popped off in Denmark. Kind, I'm not gonna say rendering the whole thing moot, but kind of rendering the whole thing moot. We are winning battles against the Americans now. Um, and American dead are starting to pile up, are starting to properly pile up, which I am pleased about. I think we can bankroll Mexico on this without causing too much of a problem. We just need to remember to uh, put an end to that once the war is over. Um, but that's all the time we've got for tonight because this episode has actually gone really, really long. So... Uh, yeah, we're gonna, once, once we get, I'm hoping we can get some more manpower built up in these armies, and then we'll be able to really get where we're going, but for the moment, I've had fun, I hope you all have had fun, and I'll see you all on the other side.